O Studio is Christchurch's first wellness centre. Tim Bateman, my brother-in-law, opened it up a couple of years ago, and it's sort of a one-stop shop for all things wellness and recovery. Certainly when you're getting to the end of your rugby career, as you know, these sorts of things become more and more important. You and I went to high school together, Burnside High. Do you remember me at school? I'm a couple of years older. Do you remember me at school? Or? You're more than a couple of years older than me, actually. You're three years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool journey coming out of a school like that to go on and play, you know, professional rugby for, you know, both of us got to do it for such a long time. Is this something you're really proud of and reflect on? Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? And while we weren't the biggest rugby school going around in Christchurch, we were really well coached, weren't we? We were really lucky with uh, Rob Grundy and Warwick Taylor. Can he go all the way? He can! Mate, how have you enjoyed being back in the Crusaders environment? A few old faces, not, not many. Do you know the music they're playing these days? <laughs> There's a lot of new faces, and I'm reminded daily of my age, <laughs> which is a bit brutal, but it's been awesome to be back. It has been really cool. We felt really settled over in the UK. We were there seven odd years, so we made some great friends and stuff over there. Nigel Owens blows the whistle on the hopes of New Zealand. So it does take a little bit of time, but it's just awesome being back. What's different? You said that there's been some new things kind of introduced. Like, can you give us some examples of them or are they, uh, are they yeah. secrets? Well, some of them are secrets. And I mean, everyone knows that Razor does his themes and stuff, which are, are really, really um, quite impressive. They're very engaging and, and they are sort of um, sacred to the team. But I guess the things that I've noticed that they've just probably gone deep around our preparation week to week, the level of pressure that the coaches put on the players to make sure that they're deeply prepared each week. An example would be, I've got to send through my week's prep on a Sunday to Scott Hanson, who's my positional coach. He fires back a whole lot of feedback on that plan, just questioning every little thing. And then through the week, he shows a lot of care by helping me bring that plan to life. And then as a team, there's a lot of conversations around how are we going to deal with momentum swings. Probably more of an emphasis on the mental side of things that maybe there wasn't before. Yeah, so you back here, 2023. What, 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 what motivates you or inspires you now? Yeah, I think probably the biggest thing is that I just still love the game. It is challenging coming back and sort of adapting to the style of rugby that I used to play after playing a different way for such a long period of time. But fundamentally, I just still love it. And yeah, I guess while my, my, while my body's holding up and I've got a brilliant place like this where I can come in and, and spend lots of time on my recovery, I'm keen to keep chipping away.